here we are, Joel. <laughs> We're in the Eastern State Penitentiary. <laughs> <laughs> The last time we came to sort of a prison was yeah, when we were in, in uh, Oxford, and this one really looks way better yeah, this than the looks Oxford huge. one. This one, oh, looks actually really like. I hope that's up. That's the original features, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is really, all legit. Wow, so it's legit. Exciting. We just bought our tickets, and now uh, we're going to go and see what the tour's all about. What we love is self-guided <laughs> tours. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually oh so my good. Gosh, we are at the. Oh, we already showed it. Yeah. I'm sorry, Joel. <laughs> we are here with our, um, our headphones and our uh, mobile phone things with the information on. Yeah. And uh, we're about to go around the state penitentiary. Let's give it a go. We'll, we'll stop and start and we'll relay some information and show you all the fun bits. Yes. So um, you don't have to come so you if you don't have want. To. Firstly, it's Steve Buscemi doing the voiceover. This is pretty insane. Okay, so as the audio talks to us, we're just going to relay a few bits that are really, really interesting. And right now we're hearing about the architecture of the place, of the place, of the penitentiary. And obviously, as you can see from the outside, it does look like a castle, like mm. beautiful almost from the outside. But then as soon as you come in, all the doors are like made out of iron, makes you feel like they're bad people. Yeah, but they did say something about how when they designed this prison, yeah. the architects believed in the goodness of prisoners, no matter mm. what they'd done, that deep down they are good. And they wanted to revolutionize prisons and make them places where you no longer treated them like yeah. really badly, like you all believed that they could be good. But then also they've designed it to look a bit scary. Yeah, they wanted to inspire prisoners yeah. in future generations. And Why boy, is this did not they. a prison anymore? I don't know. We'll, we'll find, find out. out on the tour. Right, let's we'll resume. Right, we're about to go in cell block one, the first one that we've been in. Oh my gosh, it looks scary. Cell block one. Oh my gosh, the fact that it's totally empty as well, and wow. there's no tourists here today, makes it even more scary. Yeah, Actually, no one's here, it's no just us. Here. I feel like they're throw us in. Whoa. So this area, these aren't prison cells, they're just holding cells for them. And it, I didn't realize that penitentiary comes from the word penitent, which means like feeling sorry and like like asking for forgiveness basically. And that's what they hoped that prisoners would feel. They believed that they just needed some time alone to reflect on their behavior wow. and get in touch with their good side to become penitent. And I guess that's where penitentiary comes from. What a mind. Just learn something new. Mind meld, wow. Does that blow your mind? It blows my mind. It's incredible that. Yeah. Wow. So you can see like the bed and a desk. Don't know what that is. Maybe an old shower. Wow. Cell block 15. So this is the restored cell. This is what it would have looked like. So the prisoners spent 23 hours a day inside this cell and they'd have one hour a day to go out in the little courtyard by themselves each prison cell had its own little courtyard and then once every two to three weeks they were taken to somewhere else to bathe so they only had a bath once every two to three weeks oh my gosh in the early years prisoners used to wear a hood over their face when they were not in their cell so that other prisoners couldn't see them or recognize them and so they could have done their whole sentence here and never seen another person so isn't that mad it's just like this guy i'm looking at here was put in for stealing his apparently stealing his neighbor's horse or something and um yeah, did two years, was charged like, like six cents, two year sentence. Got away all right, to be honest. This is the toilet. This is where you go to the toilet. No cameras watching you or anything. A little bit of skylight there. This was oh. going outside. Is this the ex This is the iron yeah. bit that takes you to the exercise yeah. bit. Even you're too tall for that. I'm too tall for that, I've got to duck under. So I don't know how the uh, wow. tall Americans did it. It's really quite a complex building, they're saying. Yeah. This is like the most complex. The height of architecture, yeah, in almost. Yeah, uh, in yeah. the early years of it. Oh, so we've got to go through here now. Look at that. Oh. Wow. Wow. Wow, that is just so big, isn't it? It looks like a film set. It, I wonder if they have filmed anything yeah, in this maybe. one. Yeah, maybe. Because it's like, look at that. Cell block seven. Let's head upstairs. upstairs. Wow, look at that, Joel. Whoa. This is where the guards would have stood. Yeah, and more prisoners up here. Oh my goodness. This is a photo of an escape rope made from bedding and they discovered it after a riot. How amazing. Really, really good bits. I, I think it's a little bit surreal being in there. It's weird, isn't it? Because you forget that it's not a set, it's like real. Yeah, that's And then what I was when thinking. you see the photos of 
of it even 50 years ago it's pristine all white walls yeah lovely little like details and now it's all like crumbling yeah it's, it's just weird, crazy isn't it? it's, the, that section there was there was a lot about um segregation so even just like in the sports like playing games outside would be like segregated until a certain time where they started mixing up the teams and then the jobs that the prisoners would do whether some worked in the library some worked in the kitchen or sorry not library i think it was like a print shop or something oh, yeah. i'm not sure what the print shop was and also i got a thing of the plaque how yeah. like some people helped serve, serve during the war. war but instead of writing their names down they just wrote their inmate numbers yeah, saying thank you for crazy. your service 1619 yeah like, oh my gosh anyway we're gonna go on to the last bit of the tour now yeah. and uh, as you can tell we're still really cold we're so cold so this is the each cell had a solitary exercise yard and that is this it's not very big, but to be honest, I think this is a luxury. Everyone gets their own, but you're only allowed out here for an hour a day, even though it's your own cell. Leah's just sunbathing. You cold? Yeah, just listening. The voiceover is lovely, by the way. Isn't it? Really the lovely. The actor who I mentioned at the beginning, I can't remember his name now. He's Chris brilliant. Chris Kimmy or something? Those bars over there that we're looking at, that big red one shows, it's like a representation of how many prisoners were. Yeah, it's a representation of how many prisoners are in the US in 2010. So then they said on the audio recording that it's now costing the US 80 billion. It's either million or billion. I will double check. Was it 80 million or 80 billion? It's costing US billion. billion yeah, just to, to keep these people in prison. So it's quite expensive, isn't it? People are really anti, like they're really pro, like executing them to yeah. keep the numbers down, to keep the bills down, tax bills down. Yeah. And then you've got the whole question of like, is it right to kill someone? Yeah. Even if they are a criminal. And I suppose hasn't every state uh, got different laws so, yeah, so there could be some states where you can't do that I'm not too sure but this yeah. uh, rate of incarceration gone up look how much highest it doubles the American rate of incarceration is the highest in the world it says wow that's crazy oh they've added so yeah it goes from 2010 and then on this illustration here it goes up to 2020 look you can see it here hun. look United States world's highest oh my god where's the UK then Where's, yeah it'll be small won't it because we're on one of these small lists here because we're a small country oh, that's true there's We're not as many island. of us. Look, where is the United he? Kingdom. Oh gosh, we're with Serbia. We're there with Serbia 154. So this is on this side. This is where capital punishment is illegal, like the UK. We don't kill our prisoners. Yeah. There's no death penalty. And then on this side, they do have the death penalty. Oh, okay, I see. So they're in red, and then everyone else is in like maroon. Yeah. Okay, I didn't and know. I suppose America is across both because some states it's illegal and some states it's of course yeah that's mental isn't it Crazy. and it's um the numbers are per hundred thousand so like for instance the top 730 per hundred thousand oh, so people it's not because we're a smaller country then because it's yeah per it's, per, it's, in, it's, it's proportional so it's then yeah so actually i thought it was because we were just because yeah. there's more criminals in the u.s yeah per, Who per hundred thousand yeah maybe that's because they're just putting in people in prison that don't need to be in prison are americans still arresting people for stealing a loaf of bread <laughs> don't know <laughs> we could get the numbers down we could get the numbers down yeah. away gosh it's really um it's been so interesting walking around and, and like we said earlier a little bit surreal because you forget that real people were real prisoners were here yeah. it's not a film set it's absolutely real it's shocking, shocking. It's so shocking the tiny space they get in the cell being in there in total isolation it's just like crazy really glad we came actually yeah. it's very very interesting yeah i'm really glad <laughs> so in this exhibit which is heated which is lovely it's showing how change is possible and how different states have reduced the incarceration rate which is really good it's so educational here really really like it we were saying about films and now we've found out which films and things have been shot here you've got 12 monkeys famous film oh shia labeouf in cell block seven huh into an area that is of adult content so if you're watching this video and you're not into that then please and you're not an adult now would be the time to switch off I'm ready personally for the adult. we are very excited about the adult to about the sordid history of this place <laughs> <laughs> look at all this so, vagrancy alcohol sodomy abortion. abortion okay so we'll start with well 
we'll just is it oh is this all um not audio we have to read this yeah. stuff that's absolutely fine interesting stuff about the films back then wasn't it yeah Gosh. it was i'd love to film something here it's so It'd cool be so fun wonder I how mean, they... we are filming here but i, mean, <laughs> I know what you mean <laughs> So everyone on this board, it says here, has been, they were in prison for something that is no longer illegal, whether it was like abortion, being gay, like being homeless or alcohol. Isn't it crazy? These poor people, they did actually nothing wrong into, by today's society standards. Yeah, I mean, two of those, we'd get put in prison. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, yeah, sorry. Just throw us in. <laughs> throw us in. <laughs> Chuck away the key. I think it's alarming that yeah. only in 2003 Texas got rid of their sodomy laws, yeah. which, you know, prohibit oral and gay sex. That is crazy, isn't it? Unbelievable. It is 2003. Ridiculous. Come on, Texas. <laughs> we like you, Texas, but get with the program. Get with the program. It's an artist installation. Oh, wow. I've just seen a sign for the punishment block or the punishment area. Let's go have a look. Why is it that we human beings like all the like bad things? Like we like all the the naughty, sexy what stories that we just had, and now we're like, oh, the punishment block. Why why don't we like all the nice things? It's like we like the the naughty things. I wonder what they did here. Probably horrible things. So this is cell block 13, and it contained 10 cells for 10 inmates that apparently escaped, and they had plotted an escape, and they um, were kept in here. It's a shame it's all been ripped down, but there's been, I think we might have said there's been a story that they were literally going to tear this prison down until someone said that they were going to save it, and that they should keep it as historically important. But yeah. I'm just listening to um, a section about women, and um, the amount of children that were born here. Oh wow. Because of sex that would happen between or, guards and yeah guards that have raped them or wow. there's like before women got segregated in the prisons like there's been times where the inmate sex somehow i don't know how wow um interesting isn't it yeah it is after a woman got raped and eventually gave birth that she told them it was a guard that did it then the women got put okay yeah. interesting so they started like tracking the women and their pregnancies from when they arrived here and there's a whole section on babies that were born at esp eastern state Pennsylvania. that's crazy penitentiary penitentiary isn't that mad yeah that is mad you born don't here, tend to think about those birth. things hey. you're born in a prison where were you born then prison oh, esp esp it's just mental yeah. isn't it guys we're on our way to death row more morbidity death Oh, here we go. Oh, this is it, I think. We're on, this is the cell block for death row, the one that's oh. looking a bit worse Please. for wear. So this way you come before your death. You go, yeah. It's the last building I'm gonna go in. Yeah, that's, that's bleak. 46. So this one's in a bit of disrepair because you can actually see into the cells from the outside because it's all kind of fallen down. So this is a shame. So in death row, you might have seen from that clip Joel filmed of what it looked like in there. They had two corridors. One was the inmates corridor, one was the, the guards. But in the end, the guards stopped using the guard corridor because they felt that it made them appear weak to the prisoners. <laughs> So they were like, we're just going to walk up and down the prisoner one. Yeah. But they, the people in these cells were like doing, like they had done really, really bad crimes. Yeah. So no wonder they had a separate corridor. I know. Used it. I think I'd have used it. <laughs> so as we turn around to start leaving from the serving area, we hear this slap, slap, just like that. No. Nah. And everybody's eyes got like this, looking at me, <laughs> like bulging out. And I said, I didn't hear anything. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That could have been a guy. Yeah. <laughs> so That's I, so I, cool. I don't know what it was. I mean, it could have been a lot of things. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, there's birds flying around in here. Yeah. And, yeah. That got everybody's attention. Yeah. I bet. I bet. But Thank you. It's so cool. It's brilliant. Really Absolutely nice brilliant. Yeah. Loved it. We probably didn't even see everything. No. But, but it was so much. So, saw a lot of it. Yeah. yeah Going to go sure. try and get something warm now. Right, yeah. <laughs> this is a cold place. Yes, yeah, yeah sounds well, good. Thank you so no much. Thank you so much for having us. Take, Take care. care. See you. Bye. Bye. Joel asked for a little ghost story and we got one. Yeah, <laughs> it's so fascinating. I, know. I love it. Wow, that was well, brilliant. That was really, really good. We hope you guys enjoyed coming around the prison with us. <laughs> yeah, it was so fun. And I was saying the ghost stories must be amazing here. They probably do yeah. do ghost tours, but I would we find don't that have terrifying. time. For I, think, I, would, I don't know if I'd be able to cope. No, I don't think so. As you were saying, you know, people die on death row and yeah. then it's like maybe their souls remain. It's I like, know. oh, I don't want to be here. It's scary. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. We post videos every single week, but as weekly. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. We've also got memberships if you'd like some more behind the scenes content. Mm -hmm. And yeah, thanks again. See, see you soon. soon. Bye. Bye.